Hey guys! Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of like a smoky eye tutorial slash class. We're all gonna learn and practice our smoky eye because it's pretty hard to do and I think gaining control on that is kind of like a skill. So we're gonna practice today. What do you guys think? What is what is your what are you hoping to get out of today? I am excited. I wanna learn how to blend better. Okay. Yeah, it's much needed. Um, I just want it to look flawless all the time. Well, it's will the Instagram. I know. <laughs> Me too. It's so hard. It's so hard. But today we're going to try some tips and techniques and we're going to try to nail it. So that's what we're up to today. So Yay. come stick around so you can learn too. Here we go. So we're going to be using that shade Fireside. That is going to be our darkest shade we're going to be working with. The one above it is Cozy. And we're also going to use Crackle. We're going to use like the darkest shades in this mm -hmm. palette because those are the hardest, and that's what we need to work, you know, learn on working how to use. Work on learning how to use. <laughs> <laughs> so taking more of like a fluffy brush, we're going to work with that shade Cozy, and we're going to learn to buff that into our crease. So this is like a much darker crease shade, but we're going to nail it. Yes, so we're dipping lightly into the pan, and you're just going to softly, very soft, the farther you hold the brush, like put your hand closer towards the edge of it, the more control you're going to have. I know that sounds weird, but it gives you a softer touch. So just keep your eyes slightly open looking down, just like that, and just keep going. Just softly buff it in. That's looking good, Deanna. Nice. I like where you're holding the brush, getting that windshield wiper effect. And you want to really like smoke out, go just start how you're doing and then keep going and go a little bit darker. You can go back in, don't be afraid. And just hit that windshield wiper effect. Just keep going, yep. And then softly raise it a little higher just to give it that more ombre out effect. And when you go higher up off the crease, that means you go lighter, like a more softer touch. So you start out a little heavier right in the crease and then softly as you go out, lighter and lighter. I don't know if other people have this question, I don't know if it's because of my eye shape, but I always have trouble in the outer corner, like I want it to look like blended and like swept out kind of. More swept out? Okay. Yeah. So what you're going to do is, let me see your brush. So what you're going to do is you're going to start here and you're going to follow the shape of your brow. So you're going to bring it out a little farther and higher up here, mm -hmm. and then you're going to kind of bring it down. So just put a little bit more shadow and kind of bring it up a little bit, follow the shape of the brow. Okay. Alex's is looking good. So you want to soften though the edges. That's the whole point of the crease. It's just like a nice transition into your skin tone. So when you go, like this one looks really soft. That one looks great. And then this one's a little bit more rough. It's a little bit more intense. So we're going to buff that edge out. So go and take one of the skin tone shades that are closest to your skin tone. I think like a mix of s'mores and sunrise yeah. even. You're going to put it right to the edge, just like that, and softly buff it right out. Just just make it a little bit softer because it's very intense and we just want to... The whole point is to transition it right into your skin tone so it looks very natural and effortless. There you go. So anytime, just use lighter tones as like a makeup eraser. This did a really good job. So now we're going to move on to the shade... Where are we? Fireside or Crackle? Uh, we're going to do Fireside next. Okay. So get that packing brush that I was talking about earlier. I'll hold it up to the camera so you guys know what I'm talking about. So this is the packing brush and you're gonna use this to take that dark shade. This will give you the most control and there won't be any fallout. You never wanna use a fluffy brush for a dark shade. Looking good. Looking good. And you can go a little bit darker, Alex, because you have warmer, darker features than Deanna. Mm -hmm. So feel free to go a little bit heavier if you want. Don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm liking it. Yeah, so when you pack it on like that, it gives you the most control. I'm gonna pack it and on. Follow, and you can go towards the center of your lid, Alex. So bring it towards like the center a little bit, and then stop. Mm-hmm. Keep going, and you can bring it a little bit higher to the crease, just a little. I wouldn't go too much more, but just a little bit. Beautiful. Like that. Yep. All right, now we're gonna take our fluffy blending brushes. Okay. So like bring it up slowly, yep. Just like that, keep going. And take your time. It takes a while to blend, especially dark shades. 
people think that it's just, oh, really quick, I can just do a smoky eye on the fly. It's like, well, no, not really. <laughs> it does take a while to blend, and if you want it to look good, you gotta really, you know, it's a take skill. It yeah, and as you get better and better at it, it'll be easier, and you'll be able to do it quicker and quicker. So see that, like, rough line Slender. you have to it? Yep, you're gonna soften that. So now you can bring it a little bit more, just go like that on it. A little like zigzag smudge, yep, just like that. And if you feel like you wanna add a little bit more, to darken it a little bit more, Alex, you can. <laughs> you I've can. actually only used this shade as an eyeliner. So you're it's doing good. So if you, when you're adding more, just pack it and then blend the edges. Now we've got Alex's looking really pretty. Oh, Yay. This palette looks really good. You're doing a great job. Now we're gonna move on to that shade Crackle, which I have yet to use. I'm really excited for you guys to use this because I have pretty much used every other shade except this one yet, so this is gonna be fun. All right, let's get started. So taking a packing brush again, because we're working with that dark shade and we need control, you're gonna start from your inner corner and you're gonna bring it to meet that shade uh, Fireside. Just pack it, pack it, and then again, you're gonna buff it softly into the crease. And then I'll blend it. Yep, now you can switch brushes because you've got a good amount on there and you're gonna go to the soft fluffy brush and you're just going to hit into the crease section just really soft soften that whole thing but don't go over the crease just come and meet it just really nicely so Deanna this is looking really good I'm really liking this smoky eye on you the little trick is to hold the palette lower even and keep your head where it is. That'll open up your lid more so you can see where you need to blend better. A lot of people hold the lid or hold the palette eye level and then you're kind of missing and it's harder to see where you need to blend it out better. So when you hold it lower, more lid is exposed and it's easier to see. Oh, Deanna, I feel like I've never seen with a smoky eye. <laughs> I'm loving this. You started something new, Jen. Love it. So now taking a fluffy blending brush, we're gonna go back to that shade Cozy and just take a little bit and we're gonna bring that all along the lower lash line. So starting from that crease, like that outer point and just softly buff it across. And it's okay, you don't have to be super sharp with it, kinda of just fluff it around. Cause you want it to be like very, like very smoked out and soft. So just, just literally like how you did your crease, go back and forth, up and down with it. Cool. Right along the lower lash line. Yep, bring it all the way across. And don't put any more on it, now just go back and forth. Okay, now we're gonna take our pencil brushes and we're just gonna put that right into the shade Fireside. So just pick up a little bit of that and then just as you did, you're just gonna softly pack it on the outer corner of the lash line. As close to the lash line as you can and go really slow so there's no fallout. And you're just gonna bring it towards the center of the lower lash line and then stop. Beautiful. All right, Al, stunning. Love it, Deanna's. Beautiful. Now we're gonna grab our favorite tart mascaras and we're gonna start applying those because we need some lashes stat. Okay, Alex is using our TARDIS Double Take Eyeliner and she's filling in her inner rim on the top right there. <laughs> look at me so I can see both eyes. See how that just intensified that? And it really makes the whites of your eye look really Extra white and white. pop. Photoshopped. Love it. Love it. All right, let's see how Deanna's doing. You guys look beautiful. Your lashes look awesome. Your eyes are smoked out. And you guys did a really good job. You had a good Yay. teacher. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I can't wait to see wait your to smoke. <laughs> I was like, my what is she goodness, doing? like a before and after. No, <laughs> I can't wait to watch your vlogs now and see you doing dark shadow looks. I'm gonna be like, there they go. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys liked this little training, because I know I did. Me it was too. fun. I'm yeah. so glad fun. you guys liked it. Yeah. We'll do some more Tartus training yes. with Jen. You came in as tartlets and you're leaving as Tartus. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.